Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning, guys? Good morning. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle, and we are here for morning inspiration. Listen, if you are just logging on and you've just found this channel, I want to encourage you to be here at nine o'clock every morning uh, for morning inspiration. This is the place where you get your supercharge for the day. Yes, it is. And let me just get a little bit closer to you guys. This is where, good morning, Instagram. Uh, good morning, Facebook. This is the place where you get your supercharged boost of inspiration in the morning with your girl, Yvonne Michelle. Now, if you're just logging on, if you are just logging on and you are on the replay, I want you to put hashtag uh, replay and put your comments in the thread. Now, I do try and look at every single message that comes through. So if you have a question, put it on the thread and I will do my best to answer that question for you. So we're going to go straight into, this is Tuesday's truth, guys. This is Tuesday's truth. It is, it is, it is. Now, what happens every so often, and those of you who are following me regularly will know that sometimes I get questions, right? And so I, I do have a question um, this morning um, about uh, yesterday's uh, thread yesterday's message and what we were talking about. So I was talking about act as, acting as if, I said in the end, act as if and embody the whole manifestation, right? So to, the question that I had um, was about self-talk. This is, well, how do you do that? How do you go to those levels and, and you still have all this talk going on in your mind. I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'll never be successful. I'm too old. All of these kinds of things. And I thought, oh, this is great. And this is real kind of juicy for this morning. So how do you overcome or how do you disempower, say that word, disempower negative self-talk, negative self-talk? talk because we have negative thinking but we also have negative self-talk and that's where yourself talks to you as if you're having a conversation about something so let me just tell you something about this right and I just it just came to me before I, I sat down on this chair. Your negative self-talk is producing the results in your life. Bang that's Tuesday's truth guys. The truth of the matter is, is that your negative self-talk is what's producing the results in your life. Your negative self-talk is what will stop you, will block you from manifesting that thing that you desire, right? I want you to understand that. <coughs> Excuse me. Your negative talk, self-talk, is the reason and is the, the thing that is producing the results that you are, are manifesting in your life. So let's look at that. Let's look at that this morning. Let's go through that this morning. How do we disempower negative self-talk? Because this is a big one. This one will help to move you forward. Now, there are lots of tools and there are lots of techniques that can be done. Well, there's a few techniques that can be done. And those techniques will not be done. We can't do it here. We don't have enough time. And, and it's it's a personal thing. You have to want this. Right. So these are the types of things that you would be able to do if you work with me or you, you contacted me or we set up an appointment. But for now, I'm just going to go through how you disempower negative self-talk. OK. So I want you to, to bear with me. Stick with me, guys. Every morning, every morning we go through different things. And it could be anything. There's no set timetable of what is going to be spoken about. All right. So where we're going here. So we're going to talk, talk about how to disempower. All right. So the first step, right, is about reframing. Do we know about reframing, guys? The first step is reframing the thought. Well, what does that mean? It means that you look at the thought from a different perspective. Now, this, with everything that we go through in life, it takes practice. So the more you practice this is 
the more frequently, the easier, the quicker, um, the sharper you'll be able to change your negative self-talk, right? So we have negative thoughts where we have it in our mind, but there are things that we say, we speak that disempower us, that disempower the results. So we are looking at results this week. Remember last week, guys, I said to you, we are looking at the result. I want to see, I want to hear, I want to notice the manifestations in your life. This is not a place for you to come every day and just come and sit and watch me and then go about your business. This is a place of action. This is a place of truth. This is a place of knowing. This is a place of movement. And this is why we call the movement that I run is called the Global Empowerment empowerment movement right it's a movement so we are moving okay right so the first thing to do is to bring it to your awareness bring it to be honest be honest enough to say i am as much as i'm trying to do all of this i'm dealing with some thoughts and the, what I'm saying to myself is not is not a good thing. Be honest enough. Talk to your coach. Talk to talk to somebody that can help you. Message me. Use the twenty minute free session time that you have. You need to become aware of what the talk is. Right. Right. And so you've now got to reframe. So that means you've got to look at it from a different perspective. So what's the truth in it? I, I, you know, I'm, I'm too old. Right. Because we say this. We say this. I'm too old to do that. Most of the people who follow me are of a certain age group. So we're talking 40 plus, up 40 upwards. And so this is something, this is the truth of the matter is that disempowering thought right there, right? To saying that you're old, you yourself are hindering yourself. And this is why truth says truth sometimes can be quite hard because it's the truth of the matter is that you are allowing these disempowering thoughts to control and to move you and to shape you and to, to, to build your life. Actually, who is in control? Control. Who is in control? Let me hear you say, who is in control? I need to know who is in control. You need to tell me who is in control right now. You are in control. So I want to see some, I am in control of my own life. I am in, cho in charge of my own life, right? So when you look at this thing now, you're going to change, you're going to change that, that thought of I'm too old. And it's a really simple one. And it's a really basic one to be fair, but I'm too old. I'm young enough to do. I'm young enough to do. I am young enough to do. I am young enough to 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 produce. I am young enough to whatever. How is it that you're too old? So anyway, that's just an example of reframing, looking at it, flipping in it, flipping it back on um it's on its head flip it and say right what is the opposite of what i am saying that's reframing in a simple term there's more to it than that but that's the simplest way of me explaining what reframing is right so then you have to challenge the belief i could break this down to every day but i'm not going to do it i'm just going to give you five steps Right. Five steps. Right. So you're going to bring to awareness. Then you're going to challenge the belief. Where did that come from? Where did it come from? Where? Where? Where did it come from? I'm too old. Who did you hear say that? Who did you hear say that previously about something else? Are you picking up something from other people? Are you picking up, you know, instead of there's a, a, an old time saying, and I don't know how it goes. So I'm just going to paraphrase it as it goes. But you learn, you learn that you get the golden nuggets from the wisest, the oldest and the wisest people. Right. And they say with a, with age comes wisdom. OK, so in the time that you've been on this earth, you have wisdom about yourself. And this is where you have to be honest about yourself, because most of the time when we are doing things, we always look at the negative. We always look at what we're not doing rather than what we are doing. So what is it that you're doing that is making those steps towards that progress that you want? And then you challenge the belief with that, with that. So with that, this is what you're doing. This is what you do every single day. You challenge that belief. Um, remember that not all your thoughts are true, guys. They're not true. Some that's not true. You know, some people are sitting there saying, I'm, "I'm so ugly. I'm not ugly. I'm not pretty enough." Who told you that? 
that's not true. And I, when I look at myself in the mirror, I say, girl, you hot stuff, you know. You, listen to me, no one looks like you. You are top dollar, yeah? One in a million. There's no one like you. And that's how I have to talk to myself. And you have to start adopting this too. Somebody may have told you that you are ugly. Somebody may have called you, I don't know, we know that we, what areas we're in. Somebody might have called you a, a, a horrible name. Somebody might have called you a gollywog. Somebody might have called, listen, I used to call me Supan Charlie. That's what they used to call me, right? Being the darkest one in the family. I'm not even dark. Hello. Hello. Anyway, this is what I'm, the reason why I'm saying this is because people say things and it attaches onto us and we believe it. And then that helps the negative self-talk that pushes um, the, the negative self-talk. But what we want to do is rewire, reshape and refunction the way that we think about ourselves. Anyway, right. So you're going to challenge the belief. Number three, you're going to choose your thoughts right? The question I asked you before at the very beginning is who is in control? If you're in control, then you have the capacity to choose. You have the capacity to choose what you think. Come on now. Come on. We're in, the, we have the power. We're powerful and we are full of resources. We're resourceful, right? So you choose the thoughts. Um, you notice the patterns that you're thinking and be aware of the negative thought because you know the thought because most of the time with a disempowering thought, it's the same thought over and over again. It's the same, but it just has a slightly different form. But it, the root of it is the same. Right. Then choose. You choose to change your perspective. Remember, I was saying to you about reframing. Right. So this is the process of reframing. You choose to uh, look at it from a different perspective, a more positive one. We're on a positive route. Right. Number four, check your environment. Check your environment. Because there's a lot of you got a lot of you men and women who are in environments that are not conducive to where you are going. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm not telling you who to choose for your friends. I'm not telling you to, to get rid of anybody. I'm not telling you what to do. But you know what you need to do because there are certain people that are around you that are sucking the life out of you. They mean you no good, but you're still in it. And you allow them to treat you like a piece of shit. You do. It's Tuesday's truth, guys. You allow them to talk down to you. You allow them to make you feel less than who you are. And you listen to the words I'm using. You allow them. Nobody. Nobody can treat you any. Nobody can treat you any less than who you are unless you allow it. Right? unless you allow it. No one can treat you any less than who you are unless you allow it. So you have to take responsibility for what is going on in your thoughts and in your mind. You have to do that. It's not to, for me to do. It's not for the person to do. It's for you to take responsibility for yourself, for your actions, for what you want, for what you want to manifest. Does that make sense? Are, are you with me, guys? Okay. So check your environment. Is your environment conducive to your personal and business and spiritual growth? Is it? Is it now? Right? Is it? Are you in a place where you're having to dumb yourself down? You can't shine your light. We've talked about shine and light previous weeks before. Are you in a place where you, 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 you feel like you're suffocating? You can't grow. Have you got to the top of your place yet? Have you got there? Have you got to that, to that peak? Because we know that there's no glass ceiling. There, there is no limit. But have, is the place that you are in, the environment, is there a limit on what you can do there? then I challenge you, it's time to fly the nest. This is Tuesday's truth, guys. It's Tuesday's truth. You're getting it in the neck this morning, right? Is it the place that you need to be now? Sometimes, you know, listen, There's a, uh, my goddaughter said one thing to me about five, seven years ago, it might have been seven years ago, and she said to me, sometimes you've got to go to grow. I don't know who this is for this morning because I weren't going to say that, but sometimes you've got to go to grow. So I don't know, and I might be talking to me right now. Sometimes you've, you get to a place where 
that's it that you cannot go any further because it is actually stunting your growth your 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 mindset can is is in a war because you're in the wrong environment you're in the wrong environment listen the last one listen the last one because that one for me was like a boom that's that's hitting somebody today that's touching somebody today you're in the wrong place it's time to move it's time to come out of that place of old. It's time to come out and go into the new. Your promised land awaits you. Your promise, your, I don't know where that come from, you know. Your promise, the thing that you want to manifest will only be manifested if you move. I don't know who that's for this morning. I really don't know who that's for, but it's for somebody. And and the thing is, it's it's a place of fear. It's fear that's stopping you. It's fear of the unknown that's stopping you. It's fear of what's going to happen next, of as what's stopping you. But do you know what? It's not about that. You need to be like the eagle in the eagle's nest that the mother takes. You know, you, you've got to look out and you see when you look out of the nest, there's a big wide world because you've got to think eagles, their nests are high. They're high. Right. And where you are now is high. You're high. You're already high. You're in a place where you're ready. You're ready. I don't know who this is for. You are ready. But because of your environment, you're, you're frightened, it's holding you back, you don't know what's ahead of you, but you know what, look out, look out, you're at a height, you can see, and what you see is a, a world in front of you, and it's waiting on you, it's waiting, and all you have to do is take that leap of faith, that's all you have to do, is to shut down, uh, shut down that talking, reframe that talking, and say, start saying some I am's, what you are capable of, but you, the environment is what's stopping you. Again, I don't know who I'm saying this for. It could be for me. It could be for somebody out here, but I'm telling you, it's time for you to move. Right. And the fifth one is to practice it daily. In everything that we do, guys, in everything that you see, you see me do, what I speak about, it's a practice and it becomes ingrained in your DNA. This is ingrained in my DNA how I live. These tools, tips, strategies of what I'm giving you is how I live, is how I'm producing stuff, it's how I'm manifesting. And guys, you can see, those of you who don't know me, look me up. But, the, you know, and I'm not saying that to be to be braggy, but what I'm saying is I am manifesting. Those who are on my channel know that I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting like crazy. So this is what you have to do. By repeating positive thoughts and developing a gentler and kinder way of talking to yourself more often will help you to disempower those negative beliefs and what I'm going to say to you also is this is that sometimes I write on my mirror I get a marker pen and I write on the mirror in the bathroom wherever there's a mirror and when I hit that mirror I speak that right? This, that's, that's my prompt for me. If that's going to help you, let that tool help you. Get a mirror and write in the positive. Write it out. Write it out. The, this, everything that comes to your mind that's disempowering, flip it on the, flip the script on it and rewrite it in a more empowering, kind, loving manner for yourself. This is something that has to become a daily practice. This is something that you need to do all the time because we are moving forward and we Yes, we are going to to feel these ways, but we also have the power to change it. So this is it. Um, right. So this is we've come to the end. But I'm just going to read out a few comments because I love your comments and I want you to keep them coming. I've got I am LBB. Um, Instagram is saying I'm ready to fly. I'm ready to be successful in all that I do say and think. Boom. Thank you very much. Um, Ali. Ali J72 saying amen to that misery loves company. We need to distance ourselves from the people around us that add no substance to our lives or to where we need to be. Absolutely. Time to get my affairs in order and start manifesting. Boom. Well done, Ali, Ali, Ali J72. Woo! Something's dropped. Um, over here. 
Sandra Moy says, I think for me, um, Amina saying it's so true. I had to let some negative people go a few years ago. Um, they didn't want me to pro, let me just show you. They didn't want me to progress, but there was, that was their problem, not mine. I refused to take it. Boom. Right. So remember guys, remember we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not about the people. It's the attitude. All right. I want you to understand that the people are, people can only give you or be with you or help you to the capacity that they can help themselves. We have to remember that because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's not our problem. We're not hating on people. And I want to make that really clear because I see lots of things going on on social media, especially now at the end of the day, kindness, let kindness and, and let gentleness prevail right let kindness prevail we're not having a go at the people but we're looking at the environment is it conducive to our learning is it conducive to where we want to go is it conducive to manifesting what you want to manifest in your life if it's not conducive then you have to move and it's not for them to move it's for you to move sometimes you've got to go to grow and i'm leaving you with that today I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope you've got something from it. Please do remember to put your comments on the thread. Do contact me if you have a question, like there was a question today, and that's hence why we looked at how to disempower negative thoughts. Take those five steps. Five steps is bring it to awareness, challenge the beliefs, cho choose your thoughts, check your environment, and practice the, the positivity every single day. Absolutely. I am, remember your I am's, I am in control of my own destiny. Boom. Yes, you are. Absolutely. This is how we go. This is what we do. And we are taking control of our own lives. I will be back here tomorrow at 9am for morning inspiration. Um, do remember to join me tonight for conversations after dark. Um, we are talking and the women are in the panel room tonight for the first part of the show talking about what, what they want, what do, what do we want from men, right? What do we want? Because the men have said they, uh, we want a lot of things. So we need to be clear now about what we want from men. So the men can have an idea of what we really want and not have this perception that we want all of these things. All right. Okay. Um, right. Um, I am LBB says, love that statement. Sometimes you have to go to grow. Absolutely. You've got to go move from the environment, create the environment that you need to grow. Yeah, because let me just say this one last thing. It just come to my mind because I'm growing plants. I've got a tomato plant. There's two plants which I thought were one because I wasn't paying attention. Hello. That's a message for somebody. There was two plants in one. Now the plants have grown. Now the environment that the pot is in, I wish I, it's in the garden. It's the pot that I showed you a few weeks ago. It was really small. Now it's got quite big. The pot it's too small. So it can't grow anymore. I have to change its environment. That's a message for somebody. The pot that you're in is too small. You have to grow. You've got to move the environment. And it doesn't mean that it's going to be a massive pot. It just means it's going to be the next pot up to make it comfortable. So it's not in a, in a sense of panic. I've got all this room. Ah, just the next step up. That's a message for somebody this morning. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. You need repotting. Repot yourself, replant yourself so that you can grow. It's time to go. Ciao for now. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Nine o'clock morning inspiration. Love you. Stay safe. Ciao.